Congrats, Gazzy. Talk about falling over the line, though. Strange old match. Yeah, yeah, I, I let Daryl in a few times. I mean, three darts in my hand that I can't, I can't hit the double. But you know, one, four, three out, and a couple of other shots out. I don't know how my wife's feeling, but it's frustrating for me, and it's even worse for them lot. I think. The last eleven legs of that match, you managed to win three of them, but they all came in that deciding set. That one oh seven checkout you took out to to get things going in that deciding set. I mean, at that point, were you panicking a bit? Yeah, I know. I think if I didn't win that first leg, then I was probably gone. You know, I was I was up against there. I was thinking negative rather than thinking positive, like I was most of the game. And yeah, I was four two up in sets, and I thought, yeah, I just one more set, get over the winning line, and go back, chill out, and look forward to tomorrow. And yeah, what a fool I was. What causes that? Well, I'm inexperienced. I think compared to all the other players. You know, I've only been playing this game a short period of time, six, seven years, and you learn from your mistakes. And yeah, I've certainly learned a big, a big lesson tonight. I shouldn't uh, be too complacent when I'm in front, and I should just put more. You no, know, when I'm four two up, surely he should be under more pressure than what I am, and just felt like I was under more pressure than what he was. Back to back semi finals now, the William Hill World Darts Championship, and you do know when your next two games, you're world number one. No, no, can't afford to be inexperienced then, can he? There's no excuse then. No, nah, but I think I win my next game. I'm guaranteed number one or number two, so it doesn't doesn't matter. I'm going to get plenty of opportunities. I'm not saying I'm going to not going to put myself under too much pressure. I'd love to be number one. I'd love to be world champion, and I'm sure there's no not many times you're going to get to a world world championship semi semi final or final. So I'm going to try and grasp this with both hands and give him my best shot and. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. But if not, I've had a I've had a really good year already anyway. So I'm hopefully I don't put myself under too much pressure. Some of the heights we've seen you hit over the last two three years, and it's an incredibly high standard of darts we've seen. Not seen any of that as yet this year's Willie Millwood Championship from you. But do you feel it's coming? Yeah, but I'm in the semi final, so my C or B game is getting me through. So as soon as I start playing like I can play and be a little bit more confident, get my A game going, then yeah, I can win this tournament. But the way I'm going and bombing opportunities and giving people chances, I'm a little bit lucky at the moment. But yeah, hopefully my A game can come out and I can win this tournament. But the way I'm playing, I don't know. I'm in the semis, so I've got a chance. So what is your overriding emotion from this tournament so far? Is it, is it frustration that you haven't played well or is it just... <laughs> I'm in the semis, Ian. I'm no, obviously, I'm in, I'm in the semis. I'm happy, but I've, I've played rubbish. And I, I'm literally, I have played rubbish all tournaments. So I'm, I'm not saying I'm lucky to be in, in the semi-final because I, I've played good in patches, but nowhere near where I've played the last you know, 12, 18 months. Not, not even a scratch on it, but I'm in the semi-final. And if I can just pull, pull it out of the bag for the next two games, then there's no reason why I can't pick up that trophy. Thanks. Jesse, congratulations. We saw from your Instagram the other night that you're not a massive fan of set play. However, after tonight, has that changed? Because Darren actually won 18, 17 on legs. No, still, I feel the same. You know, when it comes, I knew he had to win 15 legs off me no matter what, and that's the way I was thinking. But we, we play all year in, 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 a, in a leg format, and then you come to the Grand Prix in the World Championship, two tournaments out of about... 70 or 80 and then we're playing set format I don't know I think if it was if it was leg format then I think then the, the cream really does rise to the rise to the top because that's that's when the better players play the best but you know little sprints first to three anybody can win those little sets last year's semi-final didn't go your way but what can you take from that going into tomorrow I know not to beat myself up I'm going to be in a better place and yeah, I, I really beat myself up last year after the first set. Peter got into, under my skin a little bit, and I've learned I've learned lost a lot, not just from that game, but the last twelve months. So, yeah, I'm in a better place, and I'm going to be a lot more positive going in tomorrow. I'm guessing when you were plotting your route to winning this world championship, you wouldn't have had Stephen Bunting in the semi final against yourself. To be honest, sure, I never really looked that far. I, I thought I was going to get Nathan Aspel in the last eight, and he's a little bit of a jinx player for me, but. I was happy when I had Dal Gurney and you know, last leg I wasn't happy that I had him, but yeah, I was Dal hasn't played really well this year and I was 
I was happy that I had him in 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 the last eight, and I and I was more confident there that I was going to come through that game. But yeah, I never I I never thought about semi-finals. That maybe I thought Peter was going to be there, but yeah, I never really looked that far. Gazi, congratulations, mate. Thank you. Gazi, you say you played your your B and your C game to get to this point. What do you think you're going to need tomorrow against Stephen? I don't know if it's going to be my C, my B or my A game. I, I don't know. I just need to try and turn up and I need to try and bring my A-plus game. That's all I look for every single game. And if that doesn't come out, then I'll try and do a James Wade and, sc and scrape through a few games or through sets and legs. But yeah, hopefully I can bring my A game and put, put uh, Stephen under a lot of pressure. But I'm not sure. Hopefully my uh, A game comes out and that'll be good enough. Right, Thanks.